Vivian Lee, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, continues to leave an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her enduring qualities as an actress make her a timeless symbol with a career that has inspired many. Whether through captivating performances or the impact on the industry, Lee's influence is palpable. Reflecting on personal experiences, one may find instances where her work has sparked inspiration or admiration. The ability to embody characters with depth and authenticity resonates with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on those who appreciate the art of storytelling in film. As we delve into intriguing facets of Lee's career, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood icon. Share stories and reflections in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel a mix of funny, shocking, and poignant facts about this legendary actress. Keep watching for more insights into the life and impact of Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee, a trailblazer in classic Hollywood, left an enduring impact on the film industry, shaping it during her era and beyond. Her influence resonates not only through captivating performances, but also through contributions that have become integral to Hollywood's narrative. Her ability to breathe life into characters with depth and authenticity set a standard that endures. These performances weren't mere portrayals. They were profound explorations of the human experience, captivating audiences, and earning critical acclaim. This ability to connect with viewers on a profound level solidified her status as a timeless symbol in the entertainment realm. Beyond the screen, Lee's impact on Hollywood is evident in her contributions to the evolution of storytelling in film. This influence extended to the industry's narrative and dynamics, inspiring a generation of actors and filmmakers to push artistic boundaries. Her legacy is not confined to a specific era, but continues to shape the very essence of cinematic expression. As we explore the facets of her career, we uncover a narrative woven with dedication, talent, and a pioneering spirit. Her journey goes beyond the glitz of Hollywood, delving into the core of storytelling, where each role she inhabited became a testament to her prowess. It's a narrative that extends far beyond the chronological confines of her active years, echoing in the work of those who follow Wood in her footsteps. In reflection, Lee's impact on the film industry transcends time. Her contributions, both in front of and behind the camera, have become an integral part of Hollywood's rich tapestry. As we celebrate her enduring legacy, we invite you to share your insights into how this iconic actress has influenced your appreciation of film. Vivian Lee's stellar career reached a pinnacle with her remarkable portrayal of Blanche Dubois in A Streetcar Named Desire, earning her the inaugural British Academy Award for Best Actress at the newly established BAFTA Awards in 1953. During a theatrical tour of Australia in 1948, Lawrence Olivier, leading a company that included his wife, discovered the talented Peter Finch. Despite later becoming romantically involved with Lee, Olivier, ever the professional, retained Finch under personal contract. The complex dynamics of their relationship reportedly reached a breaking point during the filming of Elephant Walk, causing Lee's nervous breakdown, which Olivier had to navigate. Her personal struggles were exacerbated by battles with bipolar disorder, then known as manic depression. This condition, marked by emotional extremes, added layers to her already challenging life. These challenges came to a head during the filming of Elephant Walk, leading to Lee's nervous breakdown. Olivier, ever the professional, had to navigate the complex dynamics of their relationship during this tumultuous time. Vivian Lee, a force in classic Hollywood, found herself entangled in the personal lives of her two husbands, Lawrence Olivier and Joan Plowright. In 1940, during Olivier's divorce from his first wife, Jill Esmond, allegations of adultery arose, with Vivian facing scrutiny. Two decades later, in 1960, when her marriage to Olivier concluded, she, in turn, named Joan Plowright as a co-respondent on grounds of adultery. Off-screen habits were as notable as on-screen triumphs. During the filming of Gone with the Wind in 1939, a period marked by exceptional performance as Scarlett O'Hara, heavy smoking was a part of Lee's routine, consuming nearly four packs of cigarettes daily. While accolades were part of her legacy, she earned the 16th spot on the American Film Institute's 50 Greatest Screen Legends. This acknowledgement reflects the lasting impact of performances on the cinematic landscape. The recognition positions her among the elite, a testament to enduring influence in the world of film. 
Vivian Lee's journey into motherhood began at the young age of 19 when she welcomed her only child, Suzanne Mary Holman, on October 10, 1933, in a London nursing home. Suzanne's father was Herbert Holman, Lee's first ex-husband. This early experience marked a significant chapter in her personal life, shaping her amidst the backdrop of her burgeoning career. In the pivotal stages of her career, she faced a critical decision regarding her role in Wuthering Heights. Despite being offered the supporting role of Isabella, she boldly held out for the lead role of Kathy. Director William Wyler questioned her choice, but fate favored her gamble. Shortly after, she secured the iconic role of Scarlett O'Hara, proving her instincts right and solidifying her status as a lead actress in Hollywood. Behind the scenes, Lee grappled with her mental health, undergoing shock therapy to manage her manic depression. Her commitment to her craft was evident as she would step onto the stage just hours after these treatments, seamlessly delivering her performances without missing a beat. The juxtaposition of personal struggles and professional dedication underscored the complexities of her life. Her personal life intertwined with her professional one, especially in her relationships with Laurence Olivier and Joan Plowright. Allegations of adultery during Olivier's divorce from his first wife and later naming Plowright as a co-respondent in their divorce showcased the public scrutiny she faced off-screen. This interplay of personal and professional challenges offered a nuanced understanding of the woman behind the iconic performances. Lee's legacy is not only marked by accolades and rankings but also by her habits off-screen. During the filming of Gone with the Wind in 1939, she maintained a routine of heavy smoking, consuming nearly four packs of cigarettes daily. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into her life adds a layer to the persona of the actress whose influence reached beyond the silver screen. As we continue to unravel the layers of her life and career, we discover a woman who navigated the complexities of personal and professional realms. Her choices, struggles, and triumphs contribute to the multifaceted narrative of classic Hollywood. Vivian Lee's final resting place reflects her connection to the serene landscape she cherished. After her cremation in London, her ashes found a peaceful home on the mill pond at Tickridge Mill in Sussex, where she had created lasting memories. Despite her iconic status, she harbored a personal quirk and obsession with concealing her large hands. Owning more than 150 pairs of gloves, she found comfort in this accessory. Ironically, Scarlett O'Hara, her famed character in Gone with the Wind, was noted for having remarkably small hands, adding an intriguing contrast. The impact of her portrayal of Scarlett O'Hara cannot be overstated. Premier Magazine recognizes the character as the third greatest in cinematic history, underlining the enduring influence of Lee's performance. This testament to her skill extends beyond the screen, shaping the very fabric of Hollywood's narrative.